Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're here on Mississippi Acres and we're going to be doing the alligator guide. So I was supposed to do this guide weeks ago. I um, told someone I was going to do it, they asked for it, and I completely forgot about it. So we are getting to it today. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to be focusing on the resting time today. The alligators, they don't have a drink zone, but they do have resting and feeding zones. But we're going to focus on the resting just because that's when they're on land and when they're feeding they're out in the water so specifically we are going to be focusing on the 8 to 12 resting time they pretty much rest all day long you can see this zone right here they rest from 12 to 1800 and 8 to 12 so we're going to be focusing on the 8 to 12 but you can hunt them pretty much any time during the day um, in the resting zones but they are a class 6 animal so that's going to give you quite a few different options on the guns you could use today we have with us the 303 the M1, the Malmer 7mm, and these are the 308. Max level is 9 legendary, max weight is 530 kg, silver is 226, gold is 378, and diamond is 492. Common fur types are dark brown and olive, and rare fur types are albino, melanistic, and piebald, but that pretty much does it for the information. We're going to jump right in. We're going to go take down some alligators. So we're going to be starting things off pretty much right here in the middle of the map. We've got a few zones that I do want to look at over here, starting with this one to my right. So we have a level 6, literally just right there about 100 meters out or so, 150 meters out. 361 to 437 for his estimate, so definitely going to take him down since he is so close. But then over here in the distance, we actually have a mythical, I'm pretty sure. I, was, I found him when I was looking for zones last night. Pretty sure that is the mythical I am thinking of. Now we can't spot him because he is facing us. But we are going to try to get him down here in a little bit. But let's focus on this level 6 here. Now when you're hunting gators, you do want to try to go for like a neck shot or a brain shot just because it will drop them instantly. If you can get a heart shot, that is great as well. Um, but if you can't really do that, you can always go for the lungs and just hope for the best. Now if they get into the deep water, sometimes they might not surface back up. They will get too far down or whatever and just won't come back up. But this water is pretty, pretty shallow, so it really doesn't matter too much what we go for. But we will try to go for the neck. So let's go ahead, go for that right there, and that is going to be perfect. He is going to go down immediately, so that's good. And let's go ahead and spot over here and see if he's going to react at all. I think he's about 200 meters out, and yeah, it looks like he did go alert. And it is the mythical I was thinking of. So 416 to 492. He is technically diamond potential since diamond is 492. Will he be a diamond? Obviously not, but he still has a big, he's got some good estimates there. So we're going to probably go try to get him if he does go into the water. I can always reset and all that, but I think he's just going to stay chill. So let's go get this level 6. Here's our level 6 gator. You see we have the vital blood there. Let's pick him up. He'll be a gold at 383.84, and we got him in the middle neck there. So really good shot. I'm just directly into the neck, and you can see their necks are actually pretty large. So it does kind of help you out when you are trying to go for the neck shots. But yeah, like I said, neck shot, brain shot, heart shot. As long as you can get one of those, it'll take it down immediately and just help you out if it's like trying to go out into deep water or something. So let's accept him here, and I can actually see our mythical over here. I can't spot him. But I can just see him, I think it's, oh there it is right over there. So he's just right through the trees, he's underneath that tree right there. Can't spot him or nothing, but we're going to try to get in position. We have that bridge there, so I think we're going to take it and we're going to see what we can do. I think this is the best shot we're actually going to get on him right now. We still can't spot him or anything like that. You can see his mouth is wide open here if we go to the left just a bit. So his neck is just right here. So we have a really good shot on him. Let's go ahead and take him down. We're just not going to be able to see the outline of him and everything, which we really don't need, honestly. So let's go for that. Should be good, potentially. And yeah, he is going to be down. So unless that's a different gator, that should be the mythical. We got a great shot on him. We have the hunting pressure. Let's run over the bridge and let's go get him. Here's our big guy right here. Let's go ahead and pick him up. He'll be a gold at 442.20. And we got him in the spinal cord and the middle neck. So good shot on him at 105 meters. He was actually super close to us. But good shots on him. I'm 444.99 kg for his weight. So he's not max weight or anything like that. And obviously he's not going to be a diamond. But he did go up to diamond since it is 492. But a big mythical. So that was really, really cool. Let's go ahead and accept him. Let's go to a few more spots. We are now here at the very top of the map at this little lake and it's actually a pretty good one for me. It has four zones on it. All of the times are from 8 to 12 and we have a level 5 just right up ahead here. So he's going to be a 282 to 358 for his estimates. And then over here to my right we actually have another level 5. There was a second one with him. I'm just not too sure exactly if it's a male or a female. Wasn't able to get a spotting on it because it was turned in the wrong direction. And then somewhere else over here we have a female. There she is right over there. But let's go ahead and let's get this level 5. 
I'm actually going to go for a lung shot on this one just to kind of show you how fast it takes them to go down with a lung shot. And let's use the Zarza 308 here. We'll go for something like that. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. I'm not too sure exactly which way he's going to go. Is he going to come towards this and part of the water? He's not going to come to the lake. He's going to end up going over there. We actually have another one right there. What is that? That's a level 7. Did not even see him over there. Can we get him very quickly? Definitely hit him there. Let's see. I might try to put another shot into this one. So let's go ahead and do that. I definitely think I hit him there as well. But who knows if we actually got good shots on that level 7. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but the level 5 is down. So he didn't make it out into the um, river here. Which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and let's go get him. We'll see how we did on the level 7. And let's go find the level 5. So both of the gators did go down. We have a level 1 here that just decided to come out of nowhere. I'm not too sure exactly which one this is. And let's pick him up. It's going to be the level 5. So he's a silver. 334.47. We got him in the right lung and the left lung. So you saw with one shot from the Zarza 308. Was able to penetrate into both lungs. And it took him down pretty quickly there. Not like super super fast. But pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and accept him. Like I said the level 7 is down. We have double hunting pressure there. So now I just have to find him. I would assume he probably ended up going a little bit further here. We did hit him twice um, for sure. So now it's just a matter of actually finding him here. Seeing where he went. So I will let you know I guess when I actually find him. Okay guys, so unfortunately I am not too sure where our level 7 is. There are no tracks indicating that he was ever here. There's no blood. There is nothing like that. So yeah, I really don't know exactly where to look at this point. He didn't float across or anything like that. I went and checked over there. I looked around all into the woods and then over here along the shoreline. He is just nowhere to be found. You see we have the hunting pressure here. We have two um, spots of hunting pressure, one from the level 5, one from the 7. So I'm just assuming he went out here into the water and then just started sinking and never came back up. So I don't know. We're going to go ahead and move on. I'm not going to waste my time, especially if there isn't a blood trail. If there was a blood trail, I would put the dog on it, but there is none. And this is from a female gator, so that's at level 1 we saw. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on to our final spot here. We'll use the Malmer 7mm, and we'll go ahead and wrap things up. So to wrap things up here, we actually have another mythical up ahead. So this one is much bigger than the one we took down just a little bit ago. So right now I'm just trying to get his attention and try to get him to swing around so that we can actually get a good shot. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Malmer 7mm out. Let's go ahead and just kind of walk towards this guy and hopefully we can get him to give us a broadside shot and potentially even a neck shot. That would be the most ideal situation, but we can take a long shot if we need to. So right now he is just kind of chilling, but he is going to start moving around right there so let's go ahead and just try and spot him of course he's not going to let us spot him so he's more likely just going to start running so yeah there he goes right there let's take that and it's not going to be into the um, into the neck like i wanted to but that should be a long shot there so 435 to 511 he is going to start dropping he has a good chance to be a diamond now like i said he's not going to be a diamond or anything like that um because mythicals if they do make diamond it would be extremely extremely rare but he is a big one we did get vitals right there the first shot was not good just probably a little lower something like that but we did get him and he's going to be down right there so we're over here towards the bottom of the map now just on the river still and it was at this zone right here so let's go ahead and let's pick him up let's see how he did so he is going to be a gold 437.45 so not much bigger than the other one i'll have to actually look and see what the other one's um score was but got this guy in the flesh there so yeah, just way too low. He lifted his head up there, and that was just a very low shot. But got him in the left lung and the right lung to make up for it with that second shot at 60 meters. So that was fantastic. So yeah, well, we're going to go ahead and I guess accept him. And that's pretty much going to do it here for this part of the guide. We're going to jump into the map guide. I will show you where they're resting and stuff like that. Here's the Mississippi Acres American Alligator Guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you can see they are pretty much everywhere. The top of the map is really good. We were up there at that one little tiny lake. But all those lakes are pretty good over there on the left side of the map. Along the coast is really good as well. Even the river is pretty good. There were some inconsistencies with the river. I would find some zones. They would go a long way and not find any. And then I would find some more. But I still would check most of the river at least. And the only place I really didn't find alligators was down there in the bottom right hand corner at them little lakes down there. But that's pretty much going to do it here for this guide so I do hope it was helpful. And if it was remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff it really does help out the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.